Welcome back. So let's just continue to work on our signup page. That's working perfectly. Now we need to define our logic inside our controller and store method. So first thing is first, we need to validate the user. And then of course, first thing is what we need to validate the user, sign the user. Oh yeah, save the record or save the user or save the data and then sign the user in and then redirect back redirect back or redirect to or somewhere okay let's just validate the first user so first we need to say a request validate and the rules of the validation for example we need to record the name that's of course required and then the email that's also required and then the password uh, yeah that's required and confirmed confirm means for for the confirmation password that we if you just go to index that we can check the password confirmation right you the name should be password confirmation in order to make it confirmed so that will check the password confirmed all uh, inside of here in validation right and then finally you will call our address required okay okay then save the data uh, I think the validation part is complete let's just check the validation how it's working so first of all we need to just call the errors here if I just say uh, if and then and if if errors any and then simply we need a alert alert or danger and then on order list that could also contain li but before li we need to for each all the errors errors all as error and then show just and then we just simply want to show the error okay if you just reload the page click on sign up button okay the classes only the, the bootstrap classes are not working i think the validation part is completely working nicely okay one just part the address should be text area right and we just remove the type and if you just reload the page that's nice now okay the validation is also working again next we need to save the data we'll use the if you just say user and then we'll use the user class the same user traditional class and then we will pass let's say for example uh, we'll just break this we can also use the request all like that the request all uh, these type of methods are also good but everyone has their own approaches so I'll use the simple approach to break this because sometimes we need to you know upload image or uh, some some there could be some problems that there are that do not be uploaded so we'll use the break method so we required the name and the email password right and finally the address okay and then how to sign the user in simply we'll use the uh, the auth helper or auth facade and then we can say login and then we'll pass the user variable that that contains the email and then password right and then finally we need to redirect this uh, return oh sorry about that original redirect to 
user slash profile and the user slash profile route is not available at the moment but we will create this uh, with the, the, this is a completely a module might be that we'll create a complete module for profile in the next series but at the moment we'll just simply say uh, user slash profile and then we'll create a simple closure and then written user profile or simply we can say welcome and then the name of the user okay so let's just okay the route is not defined that's the problem with spelling mistake again okay now let's just register a user for example if i just say the name of uh, let me just register a user for example bli at mail.com and then the password oh yeah that's um, you should because it's a uh, blender you should you know uh, store your passwords with the type of password right that should be type of password but I'll make it uh, you know if I just reload the page it works so, and the address would be for example New York and sign up okay again front user uh, yeah the problem is very simple just don't worry about it so if I just go to my a registration controller as I told you the if you're using any text editor and then you will simply need to import the namespace of user the, the problem was that exactly so if I just reload the page that's it welcome user and if I just go to my users there we go we just got our user and the password oh yeah the password is not storing in a big crypt way we we need to store this in big crypt way because that's not a good idea to use your passwords in a plain text okay again so if i just go to registration page and add this user and this password sign up there we go and if you just refresh there we go we are now you can see the password is stored in a bcrypt way and the user is logged in so congratulations the registration part is also completed and the next video will be work on our login page so see you in the next